we're going to be building something like this for free. Uh, this really only scratches the surface of what WordPress has to offer, too. Famous people like Jay-Z and Katy, Katy Perry use it. I'm going to go through step by step. I'm not going to skip any steps. I'm even going to walk you through how to install FileZilla since I think a lot of people who have never built a website before probably have never used FileZilla. So I think that will help you guys out a lot. So let's get started. First to get free hosting, you're going to have to go to 00webhost.com. I'll put the links to, in the description to all, all the stuff that I use. So once you're at the site, you're going to want to sign up. And you will be getting a subdomain by making this site for free. So your site's going to be something like your name dot something dot com or dot net. Uh, the dot something part is random with zero zero web hosts. Like me, for example, I'm going to get dot netty dot net. I have other 00 web host sites that have .comule.com, .comzy.com, so they're really it's just random. So at this screen you're going to want to choose the name of your website. I'm just going to choose Untaken5 because for this example. And you want to fill out your information. Then they're going to send you an email, so I'm going to log into my email, and it should be sent instantly. Then you're going to want to click this link to confirm your registration. It's going to say that your website's building, so you want to refresh. I'm going to pause the video while this builds. It should only take like a minute or two though. So once the status changes to active, you just then want to go to your cPanel. And the first thing we're going to do is create the database. So you scroll down and look for MySQL, which has a little picture of a dolphin. You click on that. Then you fill out the information of the name, the username, and stuff like that. I'm just going to do press. And your database name can be the same as your username. I'm just going to use password1. This is my password for this example so I don't have to block out anything. You're going to want to save this information for later since we're going to be using it. So I'm just going to stick it in a notepad file. Then you're going to want to head over and download the latest version of WordPress at wordpress.org. Um, for this example we're going to download the zip. I've already downloaded the zip onto my desktop. Once you've downloaded it on your desktop, uh, you want to unzip it using something like 7-zip or WinZip. 7-zip is a free alternative if you don't have anything. You're going to want to unzip it onto your desktop. This is going to take a little bit of time, so I'm going to pause the video again, and I'll be back when this is done. Once you've unzipped WordPress onto your desktop, you're just going to want to get rid of the zip file itself because it's just going to get in the way. So I'm going to delete that. And now in the unzipped WordPress, you're going to want to open that and we're going to have to edit wp-config.sample. We're going to have to edit that and you want to take out the sample. So it's just wp-config. Now in my setup, I have it so it shows the PHP extension. Uh, it's likely that you're not going to have the PHP at the end, so don't worry about that. And then we're going to want to edit this wp-config file itself. So you're going to want to click on edit. And I'm going to edit with, with my favorite text editor. You can also edit it with notepad. You want to scroll down and look for this stuff that says db underscore name, db underscore user. And this is going to use that in information that we saved from earlier. And you're just going to have to copy it from where you saved it to the wp-config file. So the database name is going to be 
MySQL underscore dab database goes to DB name. And then it kind of all fits from there. Make sure to put all this information within the parentheses. For the db underscore host, you're going to put, it's going to look something like mysql, a two digit number, dot zero zero webhost.com. And then there's one more thing we have to edit in here. You're going to want to take this link and go back to your browser. It's going to give you this code. You take this code and stick it right here in the wp slash config file once that's done you can exit out of your text editor notepad now you're going to need uh, FT an ftp client called filezilla and i'm going to walk you through how to download that you can just google FileZilla project and the URL will be filezillaproject.org filezilla-project.org click download I'm downloading it for Windows if you need something else for Mac or Linux just go to this link right here should download fairly quickly to your desktop and you want to double click the installer this download is going to take a little bit so I'm going to pause the video once again now we just have to configure the setup process I'm just going to make it use allowed to be used by anyone who uses a computer um, if you want to find it easily you can install the desktop icon Should install pretty fast and I'm gonna make it launch right away because we're gonna use it right away now we're gonna have to get our FTP details from 00 web host so go back to 00 web host go back to your control panel and then you're gonna look for something that says view FTP details and we're gonna be copying this information so FTP host name, we're going to copy that. Stick it in here. Copy the FTP username. Stick it in username. Your password is going to be the password that you use to register with 00 web host. You're going to click quick connect. Over here, you're going to want to go to desktop and you're going to want to search for your unzipped WordPress folder double click on that before we do anything we're going to double click public HTML over here we're going to de delete this default.php file and now we're going to copy everything that's in this WordPress unzipped folder and drag it in to here into the box on the right So you, you look down here and you're going to want to see successful transfers. You do not want failed transfers. There shouldn't really be a problem right now because your host setup is new. It's going to take a while so I'm going to pause the video again. Once all your CAD files have become successful transfers, we're in the home stretch. Next thing you want to do is go to the URL address of your website and the last thing is configuring this page first you want to set the title this can be changed later so I'm just gonna put it as blog you don't want the username of admin because then your site can be easy to hack so I'm gonna change mine to my name put in a password
email. You're gonna want to leave this box checked. I'm just gonna I'm gonna uncheck it because I'm not gonna be using this website. And then it's installed. You want to log in, put in the cre credentials that you just made. This is your dashboard. If you want to see your site, go to visit site, and here's your website. Brand new WordPress website. You def at this point, you definitely want to check out different themes and these things called plugins that add functionality to your website. It makes WordPress very versatile and pretty cool to use. If you had any problems with this tutorial, leave comments below. If you thought it was good and you liked your new website, then make sure to thumb up this video and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.